You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible. Humour in the Bible Book 12 Two Kings 1 Mission Interrupted Looking for humour in Two Kings, the first chapter seems to rate highly, at least in Google's eyes, so it seems like a good place to apply the criteria for distinguishing humour and see what happens. So, let's begin. The story doesn't at first seem to have a great deal of humour. It seems to be about serious geopolitical events, or at least regional political events. After Ahab died, Moab rebelled against Israel. Is serious stuff, you'll admit. The next words, however, Ahaziah had fallen through the lattice in his upper chambers in Samaria. This somewhat relieves the tone. And the incongruity doesn't stop there. Verse 2 provides a strong incongruity. It talks about a god named Baal Zebub. Lord of the Flies? Actually, this term only occurs here in the Old Testament. It also occurs in the New Testament and in Arabic, and since Chain it's been commonplace in biblical scholarship that the name Baal Zebub is a corruption of Baal Zebul, Lord of the High Place, God of Heaven, a much more suitable title for a god than Lord of the Flies. And then there's exaggeration. Have you read the story? After sending a first bunch of diplomats, who return over quickly with an answer, the king sends out, in verse 9, an army captain with fifty soldiers, which seems like an exaggerated precaution for capturing one known prophet. And then all fifty-one get burnt by a thunderbolt in verse 10, which also, might one hopes, sound like an exaggeration. And then there's inelasticity. Sending a second fifty certainly seems like an inflexible response. Though don't worry, there'll be a third. Though the response does reveal human pretension in all its lack of glory. And when the poor third captain arrives on his knees pleading it does seem to suggest a certain inferiority of mere human power, if not hyperbole. But never mind, there's hyperbole in verse 11. The angel of the Lord, saying to Elijah, Go down to him and don't be afraid of him, is a real hoot. So, we're left with several of the categories perhaps not covered. There's not much trace in this story of a light-hearted mood unless we import it. Surprise? The only surprise here is that the king is stupid enough to send a third crack team after the failure of the first two. Disguise? No, there's no one here pretending to be someone else. Though actually there is ingenuity because the text is not at all without puns though English translations seem to conspire to hide them from us. In verse 8, for example, the first lot of messengers, the ones who survived, the real diplomats, not the soldiers, tell the king that the man who interrupted their diplomatic mission was Ishbal Se'ar. Literally, the man was a lord of hair. Oh, it's harsh humour. The lord of the flies and the lord of hair it won't pass the PC police. But then, the PC police will allow people to worship any rubbish they like, even a Lord of the Flies. <laughs>